Bitty Bricklover18 here today, showing you the place in my Lego room that you don't normally get to see because it's underneath my city table. So here underneath my city table is where I store all my Bricklink pieces. All the ones that don't fit in baggies anyway, and sets, minifigures, and instruction manuals. So basically, this is just where I store large parts. For those that don't know, I store my small parts in these bags. I also have these three tins, and they're actually the only thing under here that are not really for my Brickling store. These are seasonal sets and poly bags and stuff that I don't need out year-round, so I just store them under here in these tins. They're out of my way, they're out of everybody's way. Nobody really sees them. I also take advantage of the space to source some parts. These are parts that are waiting, are currently waiting for a drawer or a bag number or a bin number or something like that. I have another couple boxes of them. I have a set to part out and then I have some trays that are I use to store parts in. So basically down under here I just have several different bookshelves for use just to store my boxes. Each box is numbered L like L54, L61 and then each shelf has a little label underneath saying which boxes go to where. So this on the boxes you'll find here are either 54, L54 to 61. So and then you're wondering why does it go to the top? Well, when a lot empties and the box becomes empty, I actually just throw it here in this area, so that just to wait to be filled back up with parts. And then that's so that's why you can find some spots here in the shelves empty because I've been selling a lot lately. This is what the boxes look like. They're two pieces, hard to take off with one hand. And then inside, I just have some Lego pieces, all sorted, one lot per box. Just those things aren't confusing. Each box is made up of two pieces of paper, and most of these boxes are either the colorful boxes were actually made at one point to store my personal collection, but not they don't anymore. And most of the white boxes are actually used from reused paper, such as these some of these ones here, as you can see, there is writing on there. Those are actually from my grandma's real estate business where she works, and they changed the name of their business, so they had to print all new paper. But that because this paper was all had the head header and footnote of their business but because they changed names they had to change paper so she had thousands of pieces of paper that I got to make these boxes out of I think it's a pretty cool space down here it's very functional it's not like huge but it's quite big so I, I can be down here like you know just sorting through all the parts putting all the parts down there and it's just it's a pretty good space and I like it because even though the, the table and stuff I can still get my head completely under it to not see it and then I have it all set up so to turn the light off all I have to do is flick this switch and it actually becomes pretty dark down here you can still see which is nice so it's not like if there's no light there's nothing but it becomes pretty dark so when I turn this light on it just helps me so much more find the parts that I need and it's just more efficient for packing orders I hope you enjoyed this video of me touring my Bricklink section underneath my Lego city table, the part of my Lego room that you never see. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more Lego related videos, please check out my YouTube channel, BrickLover18. Don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends, and of course subscribe. Thanks everybody for watching. Watch again. Have a great day.